today marked this year's State of Devolution Address as well as the 10th year since Kenya adopted devolution. The CUG Chair and Kirinyaga Governor Anwai Guru in her address heaping praise on the milestones of devolution including the countrywide growth and development of infrastructure in the health, transport, trade, agriculture and disaster management sectors. There are however concerns over the funding of the counties despite a confirmation that the counties have received 100% of their equitable share. Very, very important to have a predictable source of finance, predictable, a regular source of financing both in terms of transfers from the national government but also uh, own resource own resources from the generation from the counties. Kenya is attending what we call middle income level of countries in, in terms of development and therefore the high funding from donors definitely even in health will keep on reducing. So as counties we must come up with solutions to mitigate the gap that is going to be left uh, when the donors pull out by increasing our, our funding towards the health sector. We would want uh, a lot more resources uh, given to the counties. We understand where the country was when we came in and uh, why the current allocation is. But now going forward, uh, we will hope that we will get adequate resources that will follow the actual functions to enable the counties to be able to carry out the functions that have been given to them. The delay in the disbursement of the equitable share by the National Treasury has contributed to the pending bills, which remains a thorn in the flesh of devolution. According to the COG Chair Anwai Guru, as of 31st of March 2023, the outstanding pending bills for counties amounted to 159.73 billion, with Nairobi County accounting for 64.4 percent of the pending bills at 102.81 billion. The current governor, um, it's really unfortunate that he has to bear this burden. Uh, I believe he has come up with a plan, uh, both in terms of uh, raising revenue and also. Um, a validation of the uh, pending bills to see which are the ones that need to be paid, which are uh, genuine. But we're also very pleased to have counties like Elgio Marquette that has completely finished uh, all their pending bills. Um, my county, for example, Kirinyaga, has only got an outstanding of 200 and many out of uh, about uh, 700 and something. Um, hopefully in another two years will be over and done with the story of pending bills. Friday morning, President William Bruto signed into law the County Allocation Revenue Bill 2023 and the Equalization Fund Appropriation Bill 2023. The two bills are set to enable the 47 devolved units to access funds in the financial year that begins tomorrow. Though faced by a myriad of challenges, 10 years down the line, the impact of devolution can be felt in the counties with calls for more stakeholders and partners to come together to ensure they meet the dream of devolution. For K24 from Nairobi, I'm David Kagina.